Go. This is like the third version of Dalton's Lego boat. The first one had a propeller, or not a propeller, but um, a rudder. Dalton didn't like the rudder idea, so he made the motor be able to turn to help uh, steer it. Now he's attempting a three-point turn in our tiny little bathtub. It's not real fast, but, you know, it's just a Lego machine, so it doesn't have uh, really quick motors. Fast as I can make it. I need more, well, I pretty much We do. need more power, as the famous tool man Tim Taylor would say, oh, 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 more power. Need more power. Actually, the battery's almost drained. Oh, is it? Yep. Yep, it says that again, too. Yeah, low battery. That's okay. The center boat itself did not um, contain enough buoyancy to hold all the hardware, so Dalton devised a plan to put it, <laughs> formula bottles on the side as pontoons to help it float. Three bottles. There's three bottles. Can't you count? There's six. You said four little bottles on the I side. Said, no, I said formula bottles. Oh. Oh, yeah. Here's a close-up of the motor. And as you can watch, Dalton, you can turn it to make it steer. See? It took me three weeks for the first version, but it was worth it. Yep. didn't work the first time, so I just decided to put... So okay. Dad had an idea. He decided he wanted me to put the bottles on. All right, how about we get a real good close-up of... Oops. Of the motor. I'm going to pick it up for just a second. So, I can see that. We can see it. Go ahead and turn it. Mindstorm, so I can make a remote control instead of using my dad's phone. Okay. Mm. 